Jaya, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is how to wake up, how to activate the fifth dimension in your life. If you have been feeling trapped in the matrix of life, within the matrix of the physical world, within the matrix of those physical senses, and uh, you're trying to access a deeper dimension, look for meaning and look for your why in your life. Why is this all happening? What is the thing that you should be focusing on when you wake up in the morning? And uh, what I want to do here is to give you some ideas and some tools and some techniques. The pathway to spiritual awakening involves techniques. There, is some things that, there are some things that you can do, like for instance, conscious breathing, uh, pranayama techniques, awakening, meditation techniques, uh, prayers, different forms of ritual, visiting secret places, secret spots around the world, sitting with a teacher, a guru, or a guide, um, entering into um, mystical ways of expressing your art, for instance, your paintings, and uh, your music, for instance. So there are so there are dozens and dozens of pathways that you can activate uh, in your life that are um, spiritual systems, and um, the the easiest one is definitely a form of meditation or uh, prayer practice. So when you close your eyes, you don't even need a mantra, you don't need anything else than your body and your presence. You are going to activate your breathing, simply observing or witnessing your breath coming in and out of your nose. So if you practice that just five minutes every day when you wake up in the morning, what's gonna happen is you are going to open a space of consciousness or activate a certain frequency. It's a little bit like tuning into a certain uh, radio or frequency channel that is going to bring or uh, establish a level of communication or a level of synergy or synchronicity on some symbiotic connection with a certain reality. So imagine that the breathing technique or the technique that you use for your meditation what you use for a meditation is simply a way of tuning into a certain frequency. The action itself is not so much about the action, but more about the energy reality that you are invoking in your life. So when you start engaging into a meditation practice, you start engaging into a certain relationship with the spirit, with the world, beyond the limits of the physical reality. And uh, by touching on these invisible realms or touching on this invisible reality, you are activating new pathways, new mindsets, new ways of relating to life around you, in and around you. So what is going to happen most probably when you start touching on that is that there is going to be some degree of challenge or discomfort. There is only one way to sit down and to breathe and meditate. It is to actually go ahead and do it. And there are lots of distractions. There are lots of ways not to do it. There is a million ways or a million excuses that you could have not to sit down and meditate and uh, activate that resonance inside of you. And, uh, you know, it can be any form of distraction, other things that are calling for your attention, but there is only one way to do it, is to actually sit down and do it. So when you sit down and do it, or even if you are standing, and, you know, I could be meditating right now, enter into this meditation practice without even having to sit down on a cushion or on the floor. Once I start activating this practice, this starts bringing a flow of change, transformation, and openness into my system. It means that the practice itself is already activating a frequency that is a transformative frequency in my field. It starts reorganizing my neural pathways, my ways of thinking. It starts bringing in new ideas, new inspiration, and most probably the reality that I know before I practice compared with the reality that I know after I have been practicing is going to be um, is going to be different. So this process of meditation is a process of change, transformation, awakening. And in the process of doing that, most probably there are certain patterns that you will notice from the past that are no longer valid in your new reality. So this is why very often uh, people, maybe you, maybe it happened to me as well in the past, we are going to resist the process of change because somehow we are afraid 
of what we are going to find on the other side. Sometimes we just don't know. So what I want to do here as well in this video is reassure you that uh, the process of change and transformation, it's a profound guiding um, a process where we open up to new frequencies that are there to help us evolve into the the, the into our highest uh, potential as human beings. So I want to uh, you know to give you those techniques right now over here because I believe that these are keys to transform, change, open new dimensions to, into your life, and uh, once you integrate. Uh, practices like meditation or prayer or um, simply conscious breathing techniques, it has the potential to realign yourself and bring you a tremendous sense of, of awakening in your field. If, you, if your system has been in preparation for an extended period of time, sometimes it's just a little drop of a new spiritual technique that is going to open uh, those pathways. Uh, sometimes it is visiting a very specific place around the world. It is going on a journey, on a pilgrimage, and then eventually uh, entering into a transformative pathway through this pilgrimage or through this journey that leads you to that specific spot, to that specific temple somewhere around the world. Um, and uh, when your mind, when your system is ready for the change or for the shift, this can be the preparation of, you know, weeks or months. And sometimes it's going to be an instant transformative experience that is going to shift you very, very, very fast. So um, if you are new to spiritual techniques, you are new to meditation or new to anything like that, it can take sometimes, you know, months or even years of preparation where you're not feeling much inside of you or in your system, you don't perceive the changes, but believe me, something is happening. Even if you don't perceive the changes, even if you're not having a spectacular experience with your uh, meditation practice or whatever you are engaging in too, uh, it doesn't mean that that change is not happening. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you on the other side.